Hey, what's up guys, Mike here, and today I'm gonna show you how to completely unlock your OnePlus 3. So everything from the bootloader, custom recovery, routing, and updating your Oxygen OS. So first and foremost, there's a couple little things you need to take care of before we get too carried away. What you will want to do on your device is of course connect it to your computer. Once you've done that, go into your settings, go all the way down to the bottom where it says about phone. We're gonna tap on that, go to the bottom where it says build number, tap on this a ton of times until you see developer. Now when you see the developer options, you're gonna come down here to developer options and you're gonna make sure that you have OEM unlocking toggled. When you toggle that, it's basically going to give you a warning and you're going to say enable. Once you've done that, I want you guys to go into the video description down below and follow that step guide that I got down there, what to download, and I'll have direct links to each file. But we are going to download this 15 second ADB installer. This is a utility, a tool that will basically help you unlock the bootloader and flash a custom recovery. So you will need this if you want to flash what we are doing. So I will leave that in the description. Otherwise, you can just go down here to the Google Drive option. Make sure you download this into a directory like OnePlus 3. I will leave the beta super SU as well. This is for root access. And of course the custom recovery twerp TWRP for the one plus three, make sure it's for the one plus three. And then I'm also going to leave a link for the one plus or three oxygen OS update, the 3.2.2. Uh, it might be a different version of course, when you update, uh, but this will work with all different updates and all different ROMs, same process. And once you download all of these, you'll have a location, hopefully called one plus three or something of that nature. You're going to see you have the ADB installer, the super user. Now this is an option for a patch. If you just want to patch over a later or a earlier version of your OnePlus firmware. So like Oxygen OS 3.2.1 to 3.2.2. If you are already unrooted. Now, if you're watching this as a beginner, first time unrooting process, then you're gonna download the full ROM and I'll leave that in the description. And then you're going to get the twerp file, the custom recovery. So there should be at least four files. Now, once you have all these files, you are going to install the ADB first. So we're gonna right click run as administrator, and then we're going to follow the step-by-step -step instructions. So just say yes to everything here. Yes, I want to install it. Yes, I want it to be system-wide. And yes, I want to install device drivers. So this will install the custom Google USB drivers, and then it will automatically close. Now, it normally makes a directory in your C drive or your actual system disk called ADB. So if you go into your PC, C drive, or your main system disk, and you go to ADB directory, Everything that was installed is located in here. So what I do is I normally go shift on the keyboard, hold it down. So shift right click at the same time, open command window here. This is gonna launch the ADB in DOS. So this is what you're gonna use in order to flash your custom recovery and unlock your bootloader. So leave this little DOS window open. And then we're gonna go back to our main computer. And some of you may have to install your OnePlus 3 driver. So once you connect your OnePlus 3 to your computer, you might get a little window that pops up or otherwise you can just right click on this. You'll see it says CD drive OnePlus drivers. Right click install and just go through the installation process. That way everything communicates properly back and forth between your computer and your OnePlus 3. And then you should be able to see it over here. So you'll be able to actually access the data, the hard disk on your OnePlus device. Once you've done that, then it's a pretty simple reboot process. We are going to go ahead and open up our ADB. If you already have that shell open, otherwise we'll open that up. And then from there, we can start unlocking the device. So now that we have all that done, we're gonna boot up the OnePlus. But hold that power button and the volume rocker at the same time. And this is gonna throw you into the bootloader screen like you can see here on my screen. So with the volume rockers, you'll be able to go into different options. You see recovery mode, you see restart bootloader, you see all this information. Now from here, you are currently connected. You can see that my one plus three is currently in device state locked. So what we wanna do is unlock it. So in this little ADB shell, you're gonna type in fast boots, OEM unlock. And that's gonna basically unlock your bootloader. You'll be able to use the volume rockers to select no or yes. Once you get on yes, you're just gonna hit the power button to select that option. And this is gonna unlock your device. All right guys, so we did factory reset completely with that OEM unlock. That's the way it always is gonna go. So we're just gonna dive through the setup process real quickly so we can go and do what we need to do to get the files on here, get everything situated. So we're gonna go ahead and pull down real quick here, tap on that USB option. We're gonna go to file transfers. So instead of charging, we're gonna do a file transfer option. And we're going to navigate our way into our OnePlus directory where we have the beta super SU. That's basically the root. 
when you're going to select your ROM, or in this case, we're going to select our updates. Then we're going to copy that. So you can right click copy if you want to. Then we are going to go into our PC. We're going to open that up, dive into our OnePlus device. And then normally in download is where I put everything. So we'll paste that in there and we will wait for that to copy over. All right, so once those files copy over, just go ahead and verify that they are the correct file size. Everything looks legit. And then we can actually start the update process through the phone itself. So we can actually reboot at this point. Now, since we did do a factory reset, we're probably gonna want to dive into those reboot options real quick, just to make it simple. So we can double tap that build number until we get the developer options. Then we can dive into the reboot and then we can hit that reboot and go straight into the bootloader from there. All right, so now that we are back in here, you can see that we are still unlocked. We'll go back to our ADB folder, and in here you're going to notice that it's got our regular files. Then we're gonna take our TWRP, and we are going to copy this over to our ADB, and we're gonna paste that in here, and we're gonna rename it just to something simple like recovery. And then while we're in bootloader, while it says unlocked, we are going to take this recovery and we're going to flash it over. So pop open your shell, type in fast boot, flash, recovery, recovery dot image. So fast boot, flash, recovery, recovery dot image, slap enter, and then it's going to do that real quickly. So once that's actually done, it says completed, finished. You're going to use the volume rockers until you see recovery mode. When you see recovery mode, then you can use the power button to enter recovery. And this will boot up TWRP for the first time. Now, once you are inside TWRP, you can wipe your device. Now, if you want to, I always recommend making a backup first of your original firmware, or if you're running a ROM right now, just back that up. That way you have something to go back to in case you don't boot up with the firmware you're installing now, or you get a boot loop or something just has issues along the line. So make a backup first. If you are going to make a backup, make sure you select the boot data system and definitely select EFS. Now it's going to be up to you if you want to save your cache and recovery. I normally just back up what I have there on the screen. Now, once you have your data backed up, go ahead and go into wipe and then we'll go into advanced wipe and you can actually select specific things. So normally what I do is I go in here and I select the cache, the data and the system. I do not format internal storage. Now, once you have wiped that, definitely don't reboot your system because you're not going to have anything to work on. Uh, you're going to hit either back or in my case, I just hit the home button. Uh, then you're going to hit install. And from here, you'll be able to select that brand new firmware update or a ROM. So I have mine located in download directory. First and foremost, I'm going to select the beta super SU. So that way you get root privileges and access. Then you're going to tap add more zips and you're going to select the ROM or the update oxygen OS file. Then you're just going to swipe over and let that go through its process. Usually this takes a couple minutes. Now, once the setup completes or the installation of the zip files done, you can actually go in here. I recommend you wipe the cache. So give that a quick wipe and then you can actually reboot the system. So this will actually reboot for the first time, the latest update that you installed or whatever ROM you're trying to go to. Now, once everything completes and you're completely booted back up into your phone, you're gonna see here that it is at its basic initial boot up process. So everything has been done properly. And that pretty much sums it up, guys. That's all you have to do in order to update to the latest version of Oxygen OS or to flash a ROM. It's also how you get your bootloader unlocked, your custom recovery, TWRP, and if you wanted, you can also do the Super SU, the root process. So pretty much a breakdown of everything from start to finish. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it to be informational and very helpful. If you run into any problems, you can leave it down in the comment section below. Feel free to ask questions, leave feedback, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel to support me. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.